This is a Stetoda, a spider that demonstrates unparalleled skill, able to use its web not only as a trap but also as an extension of its own body. Truly ingenious and cunning, these spiders make use of every thread and every movement to their advantage. These tiny creatures, also known as false black widows, owe their name to their resemblance to the dangerous black widows, although their venom is less potent, and their behavior is less aggressive. Both Stetodas and Black Widows have perfected a fascinating technique called Thanatosis, in which they pretend to be lifeless, thus deceiving predators with their strategic immobility. When this technique fails, the Black Widow does not hesitate to adopt an aggressive posture, stretching its body to appear larger and performing a peculiar warning dance, making it clear that it is not a good idea to get too close. That tiny droplet we see emerging from its abdomen is, surprisingly, a thread of web. Although it may not seem so, these spiders are capable of regulating the stickiness of their silk, and the one we are seeing here has an extreme adhesion. We are about to witness just how sticky this web can be. The fly accidentally landed on this droplet and, in an instant, became trapped, stuck with no possibility of escape. However, when the Black Widow finally approaches to feed, it does something unexpected. Instead of going directly for the prey, it moves toward the sticky droplet and decides to sample it. While it is known that these spiders can sometimes feed on their own silk, this behavior remains shrouded in mystery. Finally, it secures its capture by launching a genuine avalanche of silk onto the fly, wrapping it up and ensuring that there will be no escape. It is important to clarify that this is not a Latrodectus moctons, known for its potent venom. Although it lacks the characteristic hourglass marking, it is still a Latrodectus, carrying with it a less potent but equally formidable venom. With these extraordinary abilities, spiders from the genera Stetoda and Latrodectus have managed to colonize ecosystems around the world, with over 120 and 30 species respectively. Today we will test whether this adaptability allows them to survive in any environment even in this small glass jar. With a bit of soil and some decorations, this place transforms into the perfect habitat for a tiny predator. When initially handled, she utilized her Thanatosis ability, remaining motionless until she ensured that the danger had passed. Then, cautiously, she decided it was time to explore and, without wasting any time, quickly settled in the bush area. The spider seemed really comfortable in her new home, where she had woven webs everywhere, establishing her dominance. Then the crucial moment arrived, the time to feed her. To do this, I introduced a fly, a prey that should not take long to fall under her control. But then something unexpected happened. The spider, visibly hostile toward the intruding fly, decided not to capture it. The spider was unresponsive to feeding, ignoring her prey and remaining in her corner, displaying behavior that was as enigmatic as it was perplexing. I thought that perhaps her disinterest was due to the size of the prey, so I decided to try with a mosquito, hoping that this encounter would awaken her instinct. However, despite the fact that this prey was smaller and clumsier, the spider still showed no interest in eating, ignoring the mosquito as if it weren't even there. I decided to leave her alone, and the next day, when I observed the Stetoda again, I discovered the reason why she had rejected her food. The spider had molted its exoskeleton, a very delicate process that is why it rejected the food. We saw how the spider managed to adapt effortlessly to such a small space, 
But the real test will be to discover if it can live in such an unusual place as inside a perfume bottle. Given the limited and hard to access space, and being a vertical surface, I opted for a simple decoration. Then the moment arrived. I carefully introduced the spider, which, without any difficulty, slid along its silk thread into the perfume bottle, as if it had been prepared for this from the start. Her behavior was very different from that of the previous Stetoda. As soon as she entered, she began to weave without delay, building her new home and showing a special attraction to the little twig I placed for her. Once she had arranged everything to her liking, I noticed that she had suspended a piece of dirt hanging from her web. I don't know for what purpose, but it is common for these spiders to adorn their web with small remnants, perhaps for some unknown reason. Once settled, I decided to offer her a fly, and her reaction was immediate. We observe how she launches a thread of silk, which acts like a rope to tie up the fly. Despite being larger than her, she lifts it with ease, demonstrating the impressive strength and resilience of her web. Once she brings the fly to a safe place, she proceeds to the next step in her feeding process injecting her paralyzing venom, laden with digestive enzymes. These spiders have a habit of wrapping their captured prey and moving them to the top of their web, a strategy to prevent other predators or scavengers lurking on the ground from detecting the food they have secured. The spider has taken no time to adapt to its new habitat, quickly settling in as if it had always lived there. This spider can live practically anywhere, as long as the temperature, humidity, and food are suitable. That is why we find many of them in our homes, where their discreet presence is not disturbed by human proximity. The next day, I wanted to see if she still had an appetite, so I offered her a larger prey a mealworm, which she accepted without hesitation. Observe how she shoots her silk with precision, creating an anchor from the worm to her web, ensuring that the prey cannot fall or escape. Then, she does something truly curious she begins to remodel her home, cutting and weaving new threads of silk. In the confined space, she carefully adjusts the worm to her surroundings. So, can a spider live in a perfume bottle? It seems that this stetoda has no trouble adapting to any place.